In the previous sessions, we have discussed uh, about different uh, tree presentations, and in all of them, we did not impose any restrictions on the node data. Okay. Now, assume we are having this tree. Okay. And in this tree, uh, as we have discussed the binary search tree, uh, binary trees, we have not uh, imposed any restriction. That means any data can be stored at any location. So assume the data is one, nine, eight, seven. 11 86 48 0 and 2 now if you want to search any uh, data on on this tree then it will take a lot of time so i have not discussed the time complexity in this subject so i will be discussing the time complexity in the case of algorithms okay so assume that uh, we are having any tree and in this tree uh, if you want to search any data then to search any data in worst case we have to search all the nodes which are present in this tree Okay, for example, if there are n nodes in the tree, then we have to search all the n nodes in the tree to search any data. Okay, so but the question is, is that operation efficient? Is it efficient that you search all the nodes to find a one single data? Right, it is not efficient. But can you minimize all these searching operations? Right, can you minimize the searching operation uh, in a binary tree? Right, so in a binary tree, as uh, if you know the time complexity, then you will see that binary the time complexity of binary tree is order of n, right? So, but we want to minimize uh, the searching complexity in case of binary trees. So, how do we minimize it? Uh, for this, we are going to use something called as binary search trees. Okay, so what are binary search trees? In case of binary search tree, we are going to impose a restriction on the data item that means where the data item will be added okay in case of binary search tree what will happen is if there is a root for example there is some this is a root and this root is some containing some element assume that the element is x right then if this element is x then in the left sub tree we are going to contain the data which is less than x and in the right sub tree we are going to contain the data which is greater than or equal to x okay so uh, in this way we can create a binary search tree where uh, all the data in the left will be less than this and all the data in the right will be greater than this okay now for example if we are having this data which is 1 9 7 0 11 -1 or minus -2 minus now for this data so what will happen is initially we are having the data 1 so 1 will be here then 9 9 is greater than 1 therefore 9 will come to the right part then 7 now this 7 is greater than 1 but it is less than 9 therefore 7 will come to the left of 9 okay then we are having 0 now this 0 is less than 1 therefore 0 will come to the left of 1 okay now we are having 11 now this 11 is greater than 1 this 11 is greater than 9 therefore will it will come to the right of 9 then we are having minus 1 then this minus 1 is less than 1 it is also less than 0 therefore it will come to the left of 0 now the next data is minus 2 so minus 2 is less than 1 it is less than 0 it is also less than minus 1 therefore it will come to the less less uh, less left of minus 1 okay so this tree is called as a binary search tree so that means when in every data whenever you are going to put any data into this tree then for any node the data which is less than that, that node will come to the left side and the data which is greater than that node will come to the right side okay so what will happen is what is the property for this binary search tree so first property is the left sub tree of a node contains only nodes with keys less than the node key node key okay so that means uh, the key is actually the element which is present inside this node for example in this root node the element which is present is 1 for this leaf node uh, the element which is present is -2 so for any node in the left side or the left sub tree of that node will contain the data which is less than the root node okay and the second property is in the right sub tree of a node 
contains only the data only the nodes with keys uh, which are greater than the nodes key okay okay and both the third is both left and right subtree both left and right subtree must be a binary search tree must be a binary search tree so this these are the three property which is uh, which uh, which are for a binary search tree okay so any binary search tree should follow all these three properties now in some books you can find that uh, the left subtree of uh, the node is containing the data which is less than or equal to this and the right subtree is containing the data which is less but in our case we are always going to assume that the left subtree is only containing the data which is less than x and the right subtree which is uh, going to contain the data which is greater than or equal to x okay so now let us see one more example of this binary search tree so uh, assume that we are having uh, some data D data is 1 or make it 11 1 2 4 13 12 16 11 4 14 14 maybe um, or 5 or 6 or 7 or uh, maybe it's make it 16 and then uh, make it 18 okay and then we are having some data which is Uh, 19. Assume that we are having this data, and we have to create a binary search tree for this data. So, how will you create? So, initially we are having the data which is 11. Therefore, 11 will come to the root, and then the next data is 1. So, 1 is less than 11. Therefore, 1 will come to the left part of this 11. The next is 2. Now, 2 is less than 11. It is greater than 1. Therefore, it will come to the right part of this one. Then we are having 4. Now this four is less than eleven, greater than one. It is also greater than two. Therefore, it will it will come to the right part of this two. Then we are having thirteen. This thirteen is greater than eleven. Therefore, it will come to the right part of eleven. Then we are having twelve. This twelve is greater than eleven. It is less than thirteen. Therefore, it will come to the left part of this thirteen. Then we are having sixteen. Sixteen is greater than eleven. It is greater than thirteen. Therefore, it will come to the right part of this thirteen. Then again, we are having eleven. This 11 is actually uh, equal to 11, so it should come to the right part. So uh, 11 is greater than uh, equal to 11, so it will come to the right part. For this 13, this 11 is less than 13. For this 12, this uh, 11 is less than 12, therefore it will come to the left part of this 12. Then we are having this 14. So this 14 is greater than 11. It is greater than 13, but it is less than 16, therefore it will come to the left part of this 16. Then we are having this 5. So this 5 is uh, less than 11. It is greater than 1, greater than 2. Greater than four, therefore it should come to the right part of this four. So we are having eighteen. Eighteen is greater than eleven. Greater than thirteen. Greater than sixteen, therefore it will come to the right part of this eleven. Uh, then we are having this seven. Seven is uh, less than eleven. It is greater than one. Greater than two. Greater than four. Greater than five, therefore it will come to the uh, right part of this five. Uh, then we are having nineteen. So this nineteen is greater than eleven. Greater than thirteen, greater than sixteen, greater than eighteen. Therefore, it will come to the right part of this eighteen. Okay. Now, assume we are having one more data, which is zero. So this zero is uh, less than eleven, less than one. Therefore, it will come to the left part of this one. So the next data is uh, assume that the next data is also zero. So this zero is less than eleven, less than one, but it is equal to this zero. Therefore, it will come to the right part of this zero. So assume that next data is minus one. So this minus one is less than eleven, less than one, less than zero. Therefore, it will come to the left part of this one. Okay. So this this is how you can create a binary search tree. Now, for any binary search tree, if you want to search any data, assume that for the, in this complete tree we have to search minus one. So how what is the path which we are going to follow to search minus one? To search minus one, first of all we are going to compare with this eleven. So minus one is less than eleven. Therefore, we'll go to the left part. Then we have to compare this with one. So minus one is less than one. Therefore, we'll go to the left part. So uh, it is less than zero. Therefore, we'll go to the left part. Now it is minus one. So as you can see, 
to search this minus one, we do not have to search all these nodes. We only have to go to the left part of this tree, right? For any other data, for example, the data is five. So how can you search five? First, compare five with this eleven. Five is less than eleven, therefore we'll go to the left part. Five is greater than one, therefore we'll go to the right part. Two is uh, five is greater than two, therefore we'll go to the right part. Five is greater than four, therefore we'll go to the right part. Five is uh, here the five is actually matching, therefore we got the data which is five. So in this case also we do not have to search to the complete uh, binary search tree. Okay. So if you know the time complexity of binary search tree, then the time complexity is order of log n. So we'll be seeing this time complexity when we are going to study algorithms. Okay. So uh, in this searching, uh, why we are using binary search tree? Because in case of searching uh, time complexity, in case of search when we are searching in a binary search tree. The time complexity is actually less than the binary trees because in case of binary search tree we have to search every single node, but in case of binary search tree we only have to compare with the nodes and we have to uh, uh, nearly search only log n nodes in uh, on an on an average. Okay, now let us see what is the node of a binary search tree. So it will be struct node. Okay, and then we are having node star left. So it is struct node star left, and then we are having int data, and then we are again having struct node star right. Okay, so this is how a node of a binary search tree looks like. Okay, so if you see, if you see the compare it with the node of a binary tree, then it is actually the same as the node of a binary tree, right? So, uh, but there is only one restriction which is uh, imposed on the data, correct? So that is uh, the node will come to the left if the data which we want to insert in the binary tree is less than the root data. It will come to the right if the data which you want to insert in the binary tree is greater than or equal to the root data. Okay, now let us see an innovative example for this binary search tree, and then we will be seeing what are the operations which we can perform over on a binary search tree. Okay, so we'll search on Google. So, uh, data structures visualization. Okay, then this is the first link. Uh, let us scroll down and see the binary trees here. So, it is the binary search tree. So, in this binary search tree, we are having three operations. First is insert. Second is delete, and third is find. So let us assume we want to insert some data which is six. Okay, so let us insert this data, and let me just reduce some animation speed. So we inserted six. That means there is a new node created, which is containing the data six. Now let us insert a data which is assume uh, it is zero. So zero is less than six, therefore it will come to the left side of this six. Okay, now let us assume uh, we want to insert a data which is uh, make it uh, 19. So this 19 is greater than 6, therefore it will come to the right side of the 6. Let us assume we want to insert one more data which is uh, 4. So 4 is uh, less than 6, but it is greater than 0. Therefore, it will come to the right side of this zero. Let us insert what is one more data, which is assume 89. So 89 is, is greater than six. It is greater than 19. Therefore, it will come to the right side of this 19. So the next data which you want to insert is 76. So since 76 is greater than six, it is greater than 19. It is less than 89. Therefore, it will come to the left of this 89. So if we insert assume nine. So this 9 is greater than 6, but it is less than 19. Therefore, it will come to the left of this 19. So next we insert, assume uh, 3. So this, or uh, make it uh, minus 1. So this minus 1 is less than 6. It is less than 0. Therefore, it will come to the left of this 0. Okay, so this is how you can visualize a binary search tree.